Hey everyone, this is Robin with Craig and Creations. How are you? I am going to get myself pulled up on my iPad so that I can see the comments better. So give me just a second. Are we doing good on a Friday? Happy Friday, right? It's almost the weekend. Well, for some of us, it's already the weekend. But it's too far away for me. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Say hi when you pop on and do this for me, please, if you would not mind. I'm going to be doing this right here, so I'll be right with you. Okay, I am good. So thanks for hanging on for just a, just a minute or two so that I can spread the love for my own live here today. All right, so how are we doing? First of all, um, my name is Robin and I am the owner and creator here at um, Craig and Creations. So welcome. I am in Georgia, Southeast Georgia. And today I'm going to be making some coasters out of coasters from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I wanted to show y'all how I do it. And I'm going to be doing two different kinds. And uh, we're going to, um, I'm gonna, just going to flip the phone down and start showing y'all what I got. Okay. My lab disappeared. What happened? So as y'all pop on, say hi. Oh, hey, Kathy. Yes, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Hi, Cindy. All right. The words are bigger on my iPad, and I can see those better. Oh, my goodness. Hey. I just noticed, and I've never had this before, so this makes me super happy. I get stars now. I've never gotten stars before. I mean, I've never seen them on my live, but hey, uh, whatever, I'll take it. So I guess I'll just wait for somebody to send stars and we'll see how that all works. But anyway. Okay, um, what was I going to tell y'all? I can't remember now. That made me super, super happy. Okay, I'm going to flip y'all down so you can see what you need for this project. And I'm going to be doing the project two different ways. So you'll get to see both of those. Okay, I'm going to turn you sideways and then flip you down. So you might get a little seasick, but I'll try not to. Here we go. Bloop. I did, Kathy. Gotcha. If I'm talking to y'all, um, hey, Missy. I If I don't have it turned the other way, it cuts my head off at, you know, cuts me off at the lips or something like that. I don't know. The camera is situated. Okay, so these are how 
um, the coasters from Dollar Tree look when you find them. They're in the aisle with all of their glass plates and bowls and the plastic um, tubs and things like that um, on the same aisle where the contact paper is. Okay. <laughs> You're tardy to the party. Missy, it's totally cool. <laughs> You guys, if you wouldn't mind, um, spread the love and sprinkle the page, please. I would appreciate it. Okay, so they come and they are plastic wrapped, as you see right there. Um, so this is what I'm going to use. I already started one, and I'll tell you what I did with that. But let's go ahead and get this open and get going on it. I'm just going to remember when you are looking through the piles of these on the shelf, there's a couple of things you want to look for. And I found this early on when I was doing these projects um, that I have to sit there and go through them on the rack before I take them home. I used to just grab and go. I don't do that anymore. So this is the coaster that I picked out and I'll tell you why I picked it. Number one, you want to look at what you're putting on it as far as decoupage, whether it's um, paper or napkin, um, stickers, whatever it is that you're putting on it. You want to find one with a background that is super close to the background color of the item that you're using. Today, I'm going to be using napkins. So I picked a tile whose background is the same color or a complementary color to the napkin that I'm going to be using. But I've got to get rid of the wording. So this one and this one were the exact same thing. Only now this one is white because the napkin I'm going to be using on this one is white. So what I did, and I'm going to be doing the, doing it to this one, is I'm going to sand all of this off. Yep, we are going to sand it off. But I wanted to show y'all um, that you can also use tiles from the hardware store. So I buy these in the sheets. They come, you know, 15, 20, 24. I don't know how many, like you were going to tile your bathroom. Okay. They come on um, uh, cardboard backers wrapped in plastic and there's a ton of them on the one sheet so i buy these and then i will go through and i will e6000 a bunch of um round disc magnets on them and i will turn these into magnets for Christmas or a birthday gift or like a freebie in a uh, custom order, whatever I want to do it because these turn out so cheap. They're, they're like less than a dollar to make when you add everything up and um, get these ready today, ready to go. They're super cheap. And um, this one actually I had on my uh, refrigerator. Aren't they cute? All right, so that's one option. And you can see they're actual um, tiles from the tile section at, I get mine at Home Depot. Okay, that's one option. Another option is, so I do the decorative tiles at Christmas. I don't know why I just do it at Christmas. I should be doing it all year round, but I do these at Christmas. So. These ones I got, and these are, again, tiles from Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you want to get them. And I will vinyl the top of them. So these aren't napkins. These are vinyled on the top. And then I put felt on the bottom because tile has that rough glue surface on the bottom when you pull them off. And so I will sand that down and then I'll put felt on the bottom so it doesn't scratch the customer's table or whatever it is they're going to put it on. So that is another option. Now the last option are these um, 
this shaped tile and these are thicker. These are the same shape as these, but these are really thin. These are thick. So I wouldn't put one as heavy as this on as a magnet on the fridge, only this size. But with this one, I do the vinyl on the top of it and I do seal it. Um, these are, I seal all of these with uh, polycrylic. But on the back of this one, it's not felt, it's not a magnet, it is cork board. And this is the same cork board that I use. And it comes from the Dollar Tree, okay? And it comes in a big adhesive sheet like this. So if y'all are looking and want to make some of these, take a screenshot because that's what you're going to need. And I will just put the cork down with a tile on top of it, trace it out, cut it out, and glue it on. It is self-adhesive already, but I do give it that extra. Um, that extra to make sure that adhesive is going to stick and um so, so i do these that way so you can see my christmas one right there this was a huge hit this this past christmas so these are just a few of the ones that i've made these are the ones that didn't sell from this past year that i still have extras of but it, i mean they're super stinking cute all right so these I did as a um, replica of the ones that are already made at Dollar Tree. So they already come with the corkboard backing on them. So this eliminates that extra uh, step that you have to do for these. So what I'm going to do is take a sanding block. I noticed that when I sanded the other one, this one that I already painted, it was kind of dull and it took me forever. So y'all are going to see how easy these come off. And you can get sanding blocks from the Dollar Tree. All right. So we're just going to take this because I want to use this same color. I'm not going to have to paint it. But I do. Ooh. Want to just go through here and start sanding off those words. So, another thing you want to look for when you're um, doing these are go through and pick one, not a, not. Excuse me, I'm Russian. Not only a color that is going to complement the napkin or whatever you're using, but make sure they're not broken because I have brought some home not realizing that they were broken. Have y'all ever made coasters before? So you see it's coming off. This does take a little bit of elbow grease, so just be patient and work with it. Take a break if your hand starts hurting. Use an electric sander if you have it. Anything will work. It will create a lot of um, tile dust, just so you know. I mean, you can already see it on my table. So 
just keep going. Got a little bit more of it off. Now you could totally just keep painting over this until you don't see the words anymore. You could totally do that. I don't. You've got an electric sander? Yeah. You just have to be careful um, with the pressure that you put on it. Because you could totally put divots in your tile piece where you didn't want one <laughs> with an electric sander. A, a, a bunch of these at Christmas time with a um, Merry Christmas napkin that I found. So I made a bunch of these at Christmas time. And then I found these napkins that I'm about to show y'all as soon as I get this sanded off and thought, why am I only doing coasters at Christmas? I could be doing these all year round. I'm, I'm just a dingle nut, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why. Why I thought I, I should only be doing it at Christmas. So probably because I've never found the right napkin. So almost. It's all gone. All the wording is gone. You'll get a regular sending block then. We'll try it. You might not be as heavy handed with it as I, I am or was. I just prefer now to do it by hand. All right. So I got all the words off. So now it's just a, a clean surface and it's bone colored, which is kind of the rustic look. The only thing I want to show y'all is you do get the dust on the bottom from your hands, from the surface it's sitting on. It's easy to clean off. Um, like for the most part, you can still see some on the back of this one, but that can be taken off after the project is over, but you do want to get as much of the uh, dust off before we go any further. So I'm just going to go through and wipe this off the sides and the top. So see the dust from my hands is what's going to keep getting that done. You don't want to wet it. <laughs> don't wet it. Dry brush it off. Okay, now I'm going to set that to the side and clean this off so I don't put more right back on it. And I'll just fold this in half. 
and bring it back. All right, so we have, you can see the two different colors. I have a white one and a bone colored one. Let me turn the air on because now I've done that and now I'm sweating. Had to pop my fan on. So why is the red live thingy with how many is watching not showing? I don't know. It's showing on mine. Maybe you need to go out and come back in because it shows that on Facebook there's four people watching. If anybody else is on and watching, would you please say hi so that I know um, you guys are here and watching and all the good stuff? All right, so I'm done with the sanding block and putting that aside. You did? Oh, <laughs> I don't know then. On my iPad, it shows that I can see the red live button and on YouTube. All right. Hi, Vi. Welcome. I don't think I've ever seen you on one of my lives. So welcome, welcome. Okay. So here is what I found. This is the napkin that I found. Look, it says welcome friends with some little blue and white daisies. I thought were super cute that I wanted to put on the white one. So that one's going to go on this one. And then this napkin, which I used on my lemon themed tiered tray live. I did a couple of days or did I? Yeah, a couple of days ago. I think I did it Tuesday. And I'm going to put this on a coaster and then this will go inside my tear tray for another added um, decoration for that. And it's a coaster. So if I want to pull it out and use it, I can. And you can see it is a great color match for this napkin. OK. <laughs> when I did this one. You also want to color the sides so I paint the top and the sides you can see underneath I didn't you don't need to nobody sees that so make sure that you paint the sides or the sides are going to be the wrong color so those are both ready to go now this one I've already used as you can see there I've already used one of these squares on another live that I did. So I want to open this up and find, I don't think that big one is going to fit, although we're going to try it. No, nah, it's too big. So I'm going to probably use a small, smaller one. So on a napkin like this, it has a two, a larger one in the center. And then four smaller ones, slightly smaller. You can see the size difference here um, than that one. And it's this one here on, on the outside is the one that I want to use. So I'm just going to kind of line it up and gauge it where I want to lay it. My hands now from sanding. Now I'm just going to cut around it with, and I want to give myself a little room on the outside of this, of the tile. I don't want to cut it exact to the exact size. And then here I'm going to just go between because I want to try and save this. So I'm just going to cut it right down the center here and it has kind of like that a shiplap farmhouse look to the napkin i like that so that's going to go right there now this i already took the other two ply um, backing paper off of the napkin the other one i have not so i'm going to show you how i do that Put that aside. Okay, for this, I use a piece of tape. I learned this little trick from Teeny Muir.
put my glasses on so I can see. Okay, so this napkin comes with three ply. You have that plain backer piece and your front piece. So I will take my um, tape and just stick it right in the corner and pull back and it separates that top piece from the underside piece, okay? So that is one. Y'all don't have to save this um, backer piece. I do because I use it in some of my Halloween DIY projects. Well, I save it. Let's see. There should be another ply on this. I can grab it. No, I did not, Missy. I, I did. I did not see that. What'd she say? What happened? Now I got to go back and find it. <laughs> so as y'all see, I can get six coasters out of this one napkin. She's going home today? That's awesome. That's great news. Awesome news. Okay. All right. Same deal. I want to make sure it's going to fit right where I want it on my coaster. And then I'm just going to cut it out. After doing this for so many years, I am still leery of, and you gotta be super careful with napkins. I mean, they will tear really easily. And I still sometimes get heavy handed with it and rip them and get mad at myself. But okay, so look how mm -hmm. cute that's gonna be. And I always eyeball, you know, it might be wonky or whatever, but hey, it's handmade. So, so look how cute that's going to be, right? With hospice. Oh. I hear hospice and I think the worst. <laughs> Hopefully it's not that. Hopefully she will get better. All right. So at this point we've got our stuff cut out our napkin is cut out and re we're ready to rock and roll so at this point i use mod podge i'm going to use mod podge to put the napkin on the tile piece so if you paint it you can use acrylic paint chalk paint um, spray paint whatever you want to do to get that paint on there and get it to the color that you want okay i use chalk paint it's thicker than acrylic paint, and so I, it only took one coat of that on a tile for me. So it saved me a bunch of time. So let's do this one first. Not hospice, but home health care visits. Oh, okay, bye. 
That sounds better. <laughs> the hospice thing had me worried. <laughs> Ooh. We've been researching hospice care um, for our daughter here the last couple of years, and thank goodness we haven't had to use it yet. So, special blessings for that. So, all right, so just get that on the top. Without any glue boogers in it or glue globs. And then I like to take my napkin and bend it and lay it down first before I get it all lined up. And then roll it to one side and lay it down and then roll the other side. That way you don't get bubbles in it or you get very few bubbles. If you do get bubbles, just gently pull it up. And then gently lay it back down. The glue had already dried right there in that corner, so I'll just uh, get some more glue. All right, so that one is on, and I'm going to set that one to the side while I work on the other one. Well, anywhere I touch it, it's going to be wet, right? I'll set that one right there. This little brush is losing its bristles. Okay. Now we'll do this one. Now this one is kind of um, different as it is going to go almost right to the edge of this tile. So this is not one that I'm going to try and find the center. I am just going to lay it on there and hope for the best, I think. So far, Missy, you think you can do this one? Because they do turn out super cute. Ooh, that is already starting to dry. That is so quick. Probably because I turned my air on. So that was probably a mistake on my part. Work fast, work fast.
Hi, Kathy. <laughs> right? How dare they? <laughs> and now we're <laughs> now we're done. <laughs> Not really, Kathy. We're about halfway. All right, so we've got those Mod Podged down. Super easy. Close up my Mod Podge so it doesn't dry out on me. All right. So we're going to do this two different ways. I'm going to show you how I do it if I'm doing um, white, not just white, but if I'm doing paper. Because sometimes I will, I have bought a, um, a, a picture photo from Etsy and I will print it out on paper and then I will Mod Podge it to the tile. I'll size it down and Mod Podge it to the tile. And that's how I do it with um, using paper is I do the same process. I Mod Podge, put the paper down where I want it. And then you're going to go back in with a sanding block. So yes, Missy, you will need a sanding block no matter what. And you're just going to go along the edge and you see it tear right off. Just like that. You're just going to go all the way around. And get rid of the extra paper, napkin, whatever it is that you're decoupaging on top of your tile. Check it out. And super clean lines. Here it's the same thing. I don't know what you mean, Missy, by it being the same thing. Now I'm just going around and looking to make sure I don't have any spots that I missed. So that's our first one. And I still need to seal it so we're not done. But I do want to put this out of the way. Now this one, I could do that same process with this, but I wanted to try the DIY by fire on this one to see if it would work on a tile. I know it works on wood. I know it works on other surfaces, but I want to work. I want to see if it'll do that on my tile piece because I haven't tried it. So we're going to try it here live. And what you do is instead of using the sanding block to get rid of the excess that is around it is we're going to burn it off and hope that it stops right on the edge of the tile piece. If not, <laughs> then I'll be doing it again. I'll sand it off and do it again. So here we go. Y'all see it? Oh, it fizzled out right there. So we'll go this way with it. Fizzled out right on the corner. And I've got some right here. So we're just going to. Finish cooking it. Now this I also saw T 
Martini and Trish and Katie do, but I hadn't, hadn't seen them do it on a piece of tile. So I didn't know if it would work or not, but it worked pretty good. I mean, the sanding block will do the same thing. I didn't want to do this to the white napkin because it does give it a little, um, a little bit of a burnt edge. And I didn't want that on my white piece. But on this rustic looking one, it's totally fine. And there are, it doesn't burn all of it. Um, I might have had some glue right there on that edge, but the fire takes care of it. You just go along the edge with it and it'll get rid of all that extra. <laughs> it is neat. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. This one is hanging over too far. It's not getting it. don't think I will use the fire on the coasters. I like the look, but it leaves it too jagged that once you seal it, there's going to be parts sticking out and it's not going to be clean. And that part of it could damage somebody's table if it goes the wrong way. I had to try it though. It does work on other surfaces, so y'all y'all got to try it out if you haven't done that yet. I just don't think it's a good fit for my coasters. Y'all can do it. All right. So there we have our two coasters. I think these are super cute. I don't know why I thought I could only do these at Christmas time. What the heck? All right, let me get rid of this dust. All right, so now let me tell you my story about sealing them. At first, um, a few years ago, I was still using Mod Podge to seal them. So you would get your tile, sand them down, paint them if you needed to, put your net, you put their Mod Podge on, put the napkin, and then I'd go back with another coat of Mod Podge on top of this and call it done. Okay, I don't use Mod Podge to seal these anymore. And here's why. <laughs> Someone purchased a set of coasters and thank goodness she was a good friend. And um or I don't I don't know. I was mortified when she when she told me. So um she had bought a set of coasters or I had given them to her for Christmas. I can't remember. But um she used them all year round, even though I know I gave them to her for Christmas. Whether she bought them or I gave them to her, I don't remember, but they were Christmas. I figured she would have used, used them during the Christmas season and then packed them away with her Christmas stuff. She didn't. <laughs> she lives in Florida and used them on her patio um, because she'd just gotten some new patio furniture for the summer poolside and decided to bring her coasters out so she didn't get her new table scuffed up or whatever 
and I had sealed them with Mod Podge. So if y'all know anything about Mod Podge, if it gets put in the sun, it's just like glue. It will break down and liquefy again, <laughs> just like hot glue. And anyway, she had, she was poolside, had her coasters out there, put her wine glass on top of the coaster, and I guess walked away, came back a couple of hours later. Um, after dark, she was cleaning up everything, went to take her wine glass off the coaster, and the coaster was glued to the bottom of the wine glass because I used Mod Podge to seal it. So don't do what Robin did. <laughs> I have never used Mod Podge to seal these ever again because you never know when your customer or whoever you gift them to what time of the year they're going to use them and where they're going to use them at, okay? So just a little tip from me to you. Don't use Mod Podge to seal these, <laughs> right? She now, you know, ended up with a wine glass glued to a coaster. I said, look, cool new trend. Maybe that's how I'll do them from now on. <laughs> anyway, just don't use Mod Podge to seal. I'm just whatever. So I am going to come back and I like to use polycrylic on mine. You can use polycrylic or you can use triple thick. Either one works. They both work great. Um, this is a little thicker of a product. This is thinner, so it's waterier. They are both water-based, so they clean off of your brush really easily and just make life a whole lot easier. You could also do a mixture of um, any of these together, you know, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna just use my polycrylic because that's what I like using with mine. Hey, uh, uh, hey, don't bite me. My fur baby's down there sniffing my ankle. I thought, oh, I'm about to feel teeth. <laughs> That's how he tries to get my attention. All right. And then you just go over it with your sealant. Make sure you get those edges that you got off with the sanding block. Now the um, Dollar Tree coasters do have a a slightly beveled edge on the tile, so make sure you go all the way around that edge and get get that part too. <laughs> you saw a tail, <laughs> yeah. He was right there by my ankle. I was about to feel some teeth. I'm sure. I'm going to set that right there so I don't mess it up by putting my finger in it or whatever. And we'll do the other one. Hey, Neva. And he's coming back, so y'all might see him again. Oh, he just went under the table and brushed my leg. <laughs>
You can tell if you missed any spots on these because it being tile, it turns a different color when it gets wet. So I can tell on the sides where I'm swiped and missed. <laughs> All right, maybe if I get it at the right angle without dumping it. Here's the camera. I don't know, can y'all see the shiny in that yet? Ooh. All right, so that's one. And the other. I just think these are so pretty. This one's close to being dry already. You just really have to be careful with the napkins not to get it too wet to where it breaks down the napkin. And when you drag your um, paintbrush across it, you don't just totally wipe the whole thing out. Because that's happened to me too. You just have to work really quick and really with a light hand, okay? All right, here's what we did. Now, when these dry, I will go back and let's see. Once these are really dry, go back and with a white wash rag, it just damp, not soaking wet, and wipe off the dust that's on the cork board on the back. And that is it. I might put another coat of the uh, polycrylic on here. I usually do two, maybe three coats, and they're done. You're definitely going to try this. Good, Kathy. I want to see pictures, you guys. Give me, send me the pictures. I want to see. So I did one where I had to sand it down and paint the tile, and then I did another one where I sanded it down, and that was it, and then laid my napkins on both of them. So, you know, do it both ways, see how you like it, what you want to do with it. But yeah, these are going back in my Etsy, sh Etsy shop for sure. Because I love doing these. And they turned out so good. All right. So what are y'all's plans this weekend? I have to tell you that as a, a clubby in Katie's Clubhouse, there is a marathon going on. Here, let me bring the camera back up. I'm going to flip y'all around. so. Here we go. Bam. Thank you. So there is a marathon going on in Katie's Clubhouse. I will post the lineup for uh, who's going on when. The marathon is Saturday and Sunday. Katie kicks it off at noon Eastern time. All of the times are Eastern. And... Uh, Y'all will have some stuff to watch. Um, getting daughter ready for prom, nails, hair, and all the things. Yay, Neva! That's exciting. Hey, at least she gets to go to prom this year. All those kids last year didn't get to go. So hopefully she feels really lucky. Um, how much would you sell them for? I, I sold, let's see. What did I sell these for? I think I sold two in like a, a set of two for $6 on my Etsy. In fact, they might still be there. Um, check my Etsy shop and see 
how I sold them. I think I want to say I sold them in a set of two for $6. Because the tile is a dollar. Your napkin is maybe 10 cents for a napkin and you only used one picture off of the napkin. You know, that's like a four, five, a hundred percent markup on one, not 500, on two, it would be a 300 percent markup on two nap, on two tiles. Yes, me too, Kathy. I'm in the creative coaching group, so I get to go see that. Um, also, I will probably watch a lot of those in the replays um, so that I can be there to help support my clubbies while they are doing their lives this weekend. And I'll watch the Hidden Treasures Challenge in replay. All right, you guys, I was going to go live tomorrow, but with the all of the um, clubbies doing their challenge this weekend, I, I won't. So uh, I will post the lineup for um, Katie's Clubhouse May Marathon in my uh, shop. In fact, it's already going to post there in the morning. It's already scheduled to post in the morning. So I will see y'all next week. I might go live on Tuesday. If I get my ribbon for my um, bridal bouquet that I was supposed to be making today, if I get that in the mail, it's supposed to come. It was supposed to be here yesterday. And I got the email saying it was going to be late and that it would be here by Tuesday. So cross my fingers. I'll be able to make that bouquet either on Tuesday if I get it early enough before I go live or I'll just do it on my Wednesday live at one o'clock. Either way, I will see you guys next week. Okay. Have a great, wonderful weekend and do something creative and have fun with it. Make some tile coasters. Alrighty. You guys have a great weekend. Bye.